Casey Anthony's defense attorney, Jose Baez. Jose, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Jane. How did you and your client arrive at the decision to plead guilty in the check fraud case? Well, she always wanted to plead to this case. Uh, it was always a concern of her. She was always very sorry for what she did to Amy. In fact, if you look back at one of her visitations with her mother, one of the very first things she said to her mother was, tell Amy I'm sorry. And um, this is something that she's always been very ashamed of and asked us to resolve. And uh, fortunately, we were able to do that today. Everybody's wondering how this will impact her murder trial. I think the most damaging thing about it is that there's actually videotape of Casey buying uh, a case of Bud Light, as well as lingerie, bras, sunglasses. And this is during the time frame, according to prosecutors, that her little daughter is missing. How do you explain that? Well, yeah, she brought a bra at Target, and it's being reported as lingerie. Um, I understand that. Uh, you know, it, it, it was a mistake she made, and today she uh, lived up to it and, and apologized for it. And um, she's always been very sorry and, and um, lost a friend as a result of this and hoping in some way, shape, or form that um, her friend will forgive her. You argued that Casey's being discriminated against, saying that she's unpopular. So I want to play you from today's hearing earlier today. Listen. Miss Anthony has had to endure somewhat of uh, a situation of discrimination because she is an unpopular individual. Five years uh, is, in our position is ex extremely absurd. I could theoretically point a gun to someone's head, threaten to kill them, commit an overt act in furtherance of that threat, and still get less time in prison than what has been offered in this case. All right, that was you in court earlier today. Jose, are you happy with today's outcome? Time served plus a year probation if Casey gets out of jail. And if so, how can you then say she's been discriminated against if the judge issued a fair ruling? Well, my argument was in reference to the state attorney's me method of charging her. Uh, I don't know of any case, and we did the research of any case, where a person passed four bad checks and was charged with 13 felony counts. In addition to that, the plea offer was five years. Um, I, I, I just can't fathom the state attorney's office offering someone with no prior criminal history uh, for an economic crime of $654, a five-year plea offer. And that's the discrimination that I was referring to. Uh, the pressure that the state attorney's office is under to treat Casey Anthony like public enemy number one and, and, and I'm in total disagreement of that, total disagreement of that. And anyone uh, who can s stand up there and argue this is just a normal course of business is really uh, being intellectually dishonest. Well, let me get back to the unpopularity that you refer to. And if you ask most people who've been following this case, the unpopularity stems from Casey's behavior after her little girl went missing, that she didn't call uh, police for a month. In fact, when police were called, it was her mother who called, and that she was seen partying in that time frame. She was seen buying Bud Light, and uh, she also got a tattoo that said The Beautiful Life. What's your explanation of that behavior? And do you understand why well, it, it creates unpopularity? Well, I understand uh, people's concerns about the facts that are reported. I, I understand that completely. But Casey Anthony is presumed innocent until or unless proven guilty in a court of law. That has not happened, and she's entitled to the presumption of innocence just like anyone else. And if we're going to be dealing with another case, she should be treated uh, completely, exactly, and totally like every, every single other person. And um, that, was, that is where the unpopularity aspect stand, uh, comes from. When they, if, you, if you remember, when they arrested her, they sent an armada of 10 police cars to go pick her up for passing bad checks and made a huge spectacle of this in front of the cameras. And now they want to charge her over $5,517 of co costs of investigations for a uh, economics crime of $654. Well, well let me say uh, this. I, Obviously, I yeah, go ahead. 
No, I, I think that that speaks for itself. Those numbers speak for itself. Uh, she wasn't treated like anyone else uh, since the moment she was arrested. And that's all we were asking for. That's all we can advocate for. And that's all that anyone should expect. Because today it's Casey Anthony. Tomorrow it could be someone else for other motives or reasons. Now, I think you'd agree there's no love lost between uh, your team and the prosecution team. In fact, some fireworks really erupted in court today. We're going to show them to you right now. Take a look. We called this motion the pot calling the kettle black because yeah, but let's, the let's way we. Let's not go there. But let's not go there. The, uh, no, the, I understand that. But what I'm know, what I'm trying we, to get to the point. We'll get into this, and uh, is, uh, both sides have more to do. I um, totally agree. But okay. What the problem is, how many times have we filed motions to compel? In You're this doing case? it anyway. Okay. <laughs> there's a there's a problem. It's not. It's a tough case. Both sides are uh, a little hot under the collar at times. It seems to be getting ugly in court, and we're a long way from the trial itself. And the prosecution is saying if things keep going at this pace, it could be years before the trial, the murder trial of your client, Casey Anthony, occurs. And, and they took shots of you saying that uh, you've uh, taken your sweet time questioning witnesses and have still not turned over a list of witnesses that you plan to call. Uh, give me your side of the story there. Well, anyone who's followed this case closely can see that we're doing as thorough a job as we possibly can. We're uh, on the attack 24-7. Uh, as far as it being, uh, it's an adversary process. Uh, it, I don't, uh, we don't hold anything personal against the prosecutors, uh, but we're not going to let them run over our client, especially uh, we believe in our client's innocence, and we want to defend her life, and that's exactly what we're doing. And sometimes it's just not going to go over nicely. Uh, one quick question, because uh, we only have a couple of seconds, but uh, there are some who feel this could be a precursor for a plea bargain in the murder case. Are you going to plea bargain in the murder case? Absolutely not. Casey Anthony is not guilty. She's pled not guilty, and this is going to trial. All right. Jose Bias, thank you so much for coming on this show, Issues, and I hope you come back real soon.